Let's cover the SLC loop today. It is a Wednesday and we are in Middletown, Rhode Island. I'm going to try to explain everything that we did with this SLC loop and let me kind of give you a visual on how the old SLC loop was ran. So what they did was they brought the first wire to the pull station. Out of the pull station, they went to the heat detector. From the heat detector, they went to the smoke detector. And then out of that smoke detector, they just whipped out to every single device for the SLC loop on this side. Now what I'm going to show you is very shortly is the last device of the SLC loop in this space here which is this um, heat detector right there so what it does is it has a loop that eventually goes into the next tenant space so we know that that is the continuation for the next SLC loop in the tenant space so what we have to do is we actually have to disconnect the wire for the old SLC loop which comes into that box there and what that's going to do is it's going to kill everything on the signaling line circuit inside our tenant space and that's very important so we got to make sure that we kill all those devices so what we're going to do now is once we tie the new slc loop in which is the wires that we're running now that's going to power up all those devices and all we got to do is just rip those devices out of the ceiling and just demo them completely there's no junction boxes involved there's none of that involved it just keeps everything nice and clean so i'm showing you everything that we ran so far on the new slc loop we have the smoke detector there out of that smoke detector it goes to that uh, smoke detector right there out of that one it goes to the pull station so you guys kind of understand how the whole process is working now we don't have a return on this side because we're utilizing the old return which is coming from you know whether or not the first, second tenant space or the third tenant space i'm assuming it's going to come from the third tenant space and then all the way back to the panel that's where that return comes from so we have our class a loop com completely done which is exactly what we need and as you can see we just tidied up the devices on the ceiling and everything so with a class a loop you have an in and then a return all the way back just in case you lose one side the return will power it from the other side we also have the new horn strobe circuit here that's going to be the new NAC circuit so that's going to be NAC 3 and what I'm trying to do here is just kind of give you a whole entire visual of everything that we did I know it's kind of a little confusing I'm trying to you know kind of push it all into one video here I could do a longer in-depth video and maybe I'll even do a diagram if enough of you ask me to but if you're in Massachusetts or Rhode Island give us a call we are taking new clients and I personally answer every phone call